Welcome to the beginner tutorial on the QST basics. I'm right here I'm going to show you all the functionality of QST. Go over it pretty quickly. Uh, feel free to rewind and pause as you need to uh, review these. On the left hand side, you can see all the available frames to your screen. On the bottom, you see tabs. These are your workspaces, otherwise known as pages. If you right click on a workspace, you can create a new workspace. Here are some built in templates to use for your workspaces. Window linking in will link all the windows within a workspace. So if you select a contract, you can um, update the contract in all the frames. We're going to go ahead and apply a blank workspace. It's a label workspace 2. We can right click and rename it to whatever we want. You can create multiple workspaces along, along the bottom of your screen um, to help organize your, uh, your system. Here we create, open up a fixed quote page. There are tabs along the bottom that shows you the primary contracts for each asset set. That frame cannot be customized, it is fixed. As you can see, I'm using my scroll wheel and my mouse to go up and down this list. There's also arrows on the bottom and top to go up and down the list of available frames. Here's the standard quote board. Click on the quote board, enter a contract symbol. If you don't know the contract symbol, right click and select contract lookup. You can add or remove columns and rows by selecting the orange bars at the top toolbar. You could also resize the cells as you saw I did by hitting those big little Fs. Here I'm adding and removing columns and rows. Let's move on to another screen. I will show you the quote monitor, this is the fully customizable quote monitor. You can enter a contract in the first column. If you don't know the contract, right click and select contract lookup. Here you type in the contract you're looking for or select the asset class or you can click on exchanges on the bottom left and select the exchange and then find your contract. Here I found the e SP, click OK, it inputs it in there. Another way to select all your months is type the root symbol, which would be ES, and here you can select which month you want. Pull down your shift key and select them all, hit enter, and now it pull up the whole calendar. Here's how you do a spread. Enter the root symbol, the month, the year, a colon, and then select your second leg and hit enter. Colon identifies in the system that you want to enter a spread symbol, and the second leg should automatically appear no matter where you put it. You can also go to the properties at the top of the screen where it says quote monitors, you select properties, you go to the columns tab, and from there you can get add or remove available columns for additional information on the quote monitor. Now we'll look at a chart. You click on charts, a new chart dialog box will pop up where you enter the contract, you select your time frame, continuation, the limitation of data on it, and it will populate after you click OK. Here we're looking at a daily chart for the evening ESP, June. And you can see you have chart tools and charts selections at the top as long as your charts window is active in the main window there. Here I'm going to indicators and selected indicators on the charts menu. You scroll down, you can see all the indicators that are in studies that are available to you. You select one, you can either double click it or hit that right arrow and it'll bring up the properties. Here you can adjust the color, the, uh, the period, or the length, hit OK. You can add multiple indicators. As you can see on the bottom left, that'll show where your indicators are accessed. You can right click on that bottom left where, it's, where you see the blue dot and pull up the uh, indicator property screen or remove it. As you can see, uh, 
just typing a comma and then hitting the number for the inch a day uh, frame that I want. So I'm hitting comma 15, enter, comma D, enter for daily, comma W, enter for weekly, comma 6, enter for a 6 minute chart. Now I'm looking at spreads, just as I said before, hit a colon, second leg, it'll pull up your spread chart. Bad example, I had a bad take on that chart. There's a 20 minute chart on the spread with my moving average applied. I'm going to increase the gap and decrease the gap on the chart to space out the bars. And then you can reset it back to where it was with the, those icons at the top that you see the mouse on. for another frame that will open up on this sample workspace. Here will be spread charts. These spread charts are for custom spreads. Formulas that you might have that you want to put in, special multipliers, ratio spreads. Here you can see we're looking at you know, a crush. These are not for exchange listed spreads. Exchange listed spreads you can just enter in the other normal chart frame like you, like you see I've done on the, the right hand chart there. Moving on, another frame. Here's one of several options windows. This is the options chain. Type in your root symbol. Hit enter. Then bring up your calls and puts. Last, net, fit and ask, and your underlying features across the top. You can select on a strike in the middle of the frame. that will highlight the entire row for easy viewing. There's also an advanced option. This is the one that's going to show you all the Greeks and volatilities and whatnot. You could also hit advanced options up at the top of your screen to select calculator and have a options calculator. As you can see, the middle section is separate from the left and right section of calls and puts. There's your Greeks. Here's all your options, including options calculator, volatility skew. Sample to calculate the option values here. Five of these Greeks there. You can also change the rate of interest in the bottom left of your screen. Double click it, it'll pull up your rate of interest. Change it, click OK, it'll change your values. There's also an options all month screen that will bring up all the months in the calendar of your options. Here's a spread matrix. Good for calendar spreads. Type in your symbols on both the vertical and the horizontal, and then you want to, send, if it's an exchange list spread, just check the box that says exchange traded and uncheck arithmetic. This will show you, you can see in the middle section here, where the intersections cross of the, uh, the left column and the top row is your exchange trade spread. Here's the DSMART bid, ask, last, volume. If you right click on the volume and any of these spreads, you can pull up charts, price ladders, trade. If you want to look at just a differential spread for a contract, then just check the arithmetic box, uncheck the exchange traded box, and then you can put in whatever you want. Here's your news frame. We split it up into four sections. The top is divided by uh, all the subjects. The very bottom is everything. And then the middle two sections, the one on the left will show the news body and the one on the right will show a summary. 
You can print, you can email these news stories. Change the font, change the layout, customize the tabs at the top. It's fully customizable. You can lose each section and make it a little less cluttered. And just double click the story to bring it up. Bring up the fixed quote page again, and I'll show you something else. You can see if I have a window maximized, I only see this one window, I don't know what's behind it. You can see there's a green number at the top that says the number four. That means I have four windows on this workspace, same for workspace. I click that number four, it auto arranges all the frames, so I can bring them all into view. Then I can delete the ones I don't want. There's a general menu option here. This will bring up a contract lookup. Good for doing a wild card contract lookup, type in corn, for example, here you bring up all your corn contracts and you can find out the symbol for what you're looking for. And then put that symbol into whatever frame uh, you want to find the quote at. Show you something else with symbols here. I'm going to go ahead and type in a couple of July contracts into the quote monitor here. Now, let's say July rolls off to the next month, we want to change it, and we have July contracts up in all kinds of frames and workspaces. Go to general, go to change contract month, old month July, new month set. On all your symbols and all frames and all workspaces, you click OK, it'll change it all. So, so if you have 15 workspaces, 50 frames, everything's July, you have hundreds of contracts to change, this is the easy way to do it. Another thing, go to general, go to save settings. You could change, you could save your settings to your computer and to our servers. Click save settings, it saves everywhere. If you go home, log on to 3 ST, you can load your settings from the server and all your changes will be loaded at home or another computer. Here's how you upload problems. If you have a problem with the software, go to general, go to text support screenshot, it will pop up the screen. Enter your problem, click upload, it'll upload the logs from your computer and a screenshot, and our tech support people will get back to you with a resolution. That's it for general basics of QST. Thank you.